In this video, I'm going to show you the basic map setup of the Garmin eTrex 10. Keep in mind that the eTrex 10 is not a mapping unit, but you do have this blank map you could use. You could see I have a track log here. I could use that for following myself out of the bush. Also, I could get tracks from different websites, put them on here, and use them kind of like a trail map and follow that track that someone else created for me. But let's go into our map menu. So we're going to hit the menu button twice. Inside here, we're going to select Setup, and then in Setup, we're going to select Map. Once in Map, we have a few options. We have our orientation. So right now, it's Track Up. So when we start moving north, the top of the screen will be north. If we move south, the top of the screen will be south. We also have the option to change that to North Up. So North will always be at the top of the screen, even if you're going east, west, or south. So we're going to leave it at track up. That's usually the easiest way to read the map. Our second map option in this unit is data field. So that's how many data fields we see at the top of the map screen. So we could go into here and we could set it from one large, two small, four small, or dashboard. And we could even do a custom one. So let's take a look at what some of these look like. So first let's do one large. We'll go back to the map screen. And we have one large. And we could change that by hitting the menu button once, not twice. And then selecting change data fields. Now we could change that to something else. So we'll just hit the enter button, which is pushing the toggle in. And select what we want to change it to. And we have quite a few things we could change it between. So let's just say battery level for this example. Let's go back to our map settings and change some more options. So data fields, let's take a look at what a dashboard looks like. So this is a great little unit for geocaching, especially if you're getting started. So let's look at the geocaching dashboard. So we'll select geocaching and now we'll back to the map screen. Now we have a geocaching dashboard at the top of the screen. So it's going to give us a compass. This is a course over ground compass. So you have to be moving before it gives you a bearing. And then it's going to tell you the distance to your cache. So that could be very useful for hunting out your geocache. So let's go back to our map menu. So I'm going to change the data fields. I'm just going to leave it at zero for now. We also have the option of doing some advanced map setup. When we go into here, we could adjust the auto zoom. We could have it on or off. We'll leave it on. We have user waypoint zoom level. We have it set to auto, or we could have it come up at five meters, eight meters, 12 meters. And I'll just scroll down here. It's got most of the different zoom levels. And we're done. So we'll just leave that one on auto. And then user waypoint text size. Right now it's small, but I could have it show medium or large. I don't have any waypoints in here to show you, so we're just going to leave it at small. Our last option is marine colors. We could have that on or off. This is a monochrome screen, so it's just going to be different shades of gray. That was a quick look at the map settings in a Garmin eTrex 10.